Welcome everyone to Banjo Tooie. What is this aspect ratio you're working on? I know it's ridiculous. This this N64 one just just isn't going to work. But we got the old rare logo, we got the N logo, but uh, yeah, and it's still in Dolby, so it sounds pretty. But uh, let's go ahead and bring it to the new era. Welcome everyone to Banjo Tooie. This is it is obviously the sequel to Banjo Kazooie, and they've made it bigger, better, more complex. And a bit like, a bit more like DK64, but a bit not like DK64 at the same time. And this, it's looking like it picks up right after Banjo Kazooie. Well, it's, it, a it, it, couple, couple of years maybe. <laughs> and this guy's still trying? Oh, he, he is dedicated. He is dedicated until nuts and bolts, but he kind of forgets about that. But, oh. it just looks about the same, really. It's just yeah, more of just, yep, there, there, there's, more, there's, more good stuff. It's a bigger, better hub world, but uh, let's get things started. Oh my god, an N64 and a Microsoft game. You see that logo on the top right of those, uh, of those picture frames? Stop and swap! That means that it detects that stop and swap has been activated on a Banjo-Kazooie. Oh. And so now there's going to be some bonuses here, but we'll get to that later. Right now we got some opening cutscenes to watch. I also saw a copy of Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts in Banjo's house, and I'm very disappointed. It's just like the intro. Two years have passed oh, since wow. Rintilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. They really matched those letters together, didn't they? Well, you know, you <laughs> it was it was a different uh, TV size. And this after, originally came out. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground, where she remains until this very day. And he has been pushing ever since. Has he been stopping for, like, lunch breaks, or...? Well, the fact that she's still trying to push the boulder off, I don't think she's died. If anything, she's stubborn. Do you think they have, like, meaningful conversations when one of them gets tired? I'm sure they had a Christmas or two, and they were just like... Never think about what to do after this. Maybe if I get you out, Grunty, we can, we can go out and just have a lovely... Live a life together, out in, out in Rusty Bucket Bay. Mumbo told me about the Lord and Savior. I think he might be under something. Wow, gambling uh, right at the beginning. You got a really shitty hand there, Banj. Come on, I'll teach you. We'll, we'll gamble. <laughs> Call up your boy, Conker. <laughs> it can help you gamble. Just like the original uh, Banjo-Kazooie for Xbox Live Arcade, the because the frame rates increased a bit, it's moving a bit faster, which means the music is just a little bit off. Yeah. At least the lip sync still works. So, uh, why do we have all this stuff around here in Spyro Mountain? Like, these, this, this, this... These, uh, sawed-off tree trunks. There's a garden that nobody's tending to up there, and... How long was this rock wall here? Oh, man. What? Oh. Intrigue. So how much of banjo Tooie have you played? I haven't. Well, this is all new for you then, isn't it? Yeah, the Wow, what a hand, Bottles! It's still garbage! <laughs> oh, he's got a Jack, Queen, King, and Ace. That's something. If he, if he, if he, he needs finds to get a way, that 10, yeah. If, if twos are wild, then he's got a great hand. Yeah, he's got a... straight. Yeah, the original idea was to play Banjo-Kazooie and then jump in straight to Tooie. And then I got fed up with the original Banjo-Kazooie and never made it that far. Well, I'm, uh, I'm making it that far for you. Oh, shoot. I'm in the wrong video game. I'm the Underminer. <laughs> I'm here from the Incredibles. Uh, we came here from Metal Slug. Uh, you guys need some guns? <laughs> they bust out of the tank, just guns blazing. <laughs> Wait, where are the Nazis? Oh, well, shoot. Oh, well, these are worse than Nazis. Uh, aliens? Jet Force Gemini? Oh no! Siblings! Gruntilda had sisters. Aww. Oh, besides Brentilda? Well, the, the other two sisters here. So, north, south, east, and west. 
a big old goof. Are they speaking in Yoda? Speaking in Yoda, I cannot say. Mumbo Jumbo looks weird. He's a little bit more expressive this time around. Yeah, they, they changed the models just enough to be noticeable. Like, I noticed Bottles has very distinguishable eyes. I think this is one of those expansion pack games. I see. Probably, so they probably had a lot more to work with. So the eyes do a bit more and all that. Whoa! Danny, d d well, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> huh, how, how often have we been able to phase out of existence, Banjo? Not since I was if you had a game shark. Hmm. Where do they go to the grocery store? Well, they got a garden, they don't need to. Well, that's a good point. They don't know who's tending it, but... Well, then you, you, you kill anything and it, it spits out a honeycomb, so if you're hungry, you just kill something. <laughs> yeah, that's how life works. That's how you hunt. <laughs> go out, kill a squirrel, eat the honey that comes from... <laughs> I'm starving! <laughs> oh wait, this one's a watermelon. Oh, well. <laughs> and for dessert, <laughs> chocolate! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got something sweet, something fruit, and something sweeter. Well, that ain't good. Uh, no, that is actually very bad. Oh, yeah, we probably should have capped one between the eyes on her, because she's still not dead. But it's been two years, she hasn't eaten, so she's probably not looking too good. Oh, she has no skin. Oh my god. Okay, that's actually kind of dark. I don't even think she has legs. Like she's, she's technically skull, she doesn't. Skull, arms, ribs. Or she still have hair? That's it. You're looking a lot thinner, Gruntilda. What the fuck? Kids were playing this? That's freaky. And Banjo's hairy butt, oh whoop, whoop. Surprised that her, wait, how's she blinking? Oh, have you tried brink, uh, brinking, blinking without eyelids? No, because I have eyelids. <laughs> uh oh. Run, oh crap, Mama. oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you still have magic? No, no, you you don't even have like a torso. Oh, she still got the magic though, because she's had two years of hateful anger to to, to, oh, to build up. The, so. the best thing, hate magic. But what she doesn't have is uh, aim. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, get that reticle. <laughs> Yeah, look at those actual eyes behind Bottle's glasses. <laughs> We're gonna die! Don't panic, but... Pa panic. Don't panic, but it's the end of the world. Revenge is mine, I cannot miss. This is a big enough target, you little piss. And? How do you think she even managed to throw fireballs like that still after all these years? I don't know, maybe it's just bone magic. I mean, I know it's only been two years, but still, it's still gonna take some dedication. Mixture of hate and bone magic. Probably, yeah. She has a hate bone for Banjo, because... <laughs> don't say hate boner. <laughs> don't say hate oh, boner. Oh, no! Grunty does not have a hate boner, like, yeah, well... Oh, no, boy. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, definitely not good. Ew. Not cheesy, let's get out of here! <laughs> I love the jaunt. <laughs> uh oh, sending out bad guys. They're gonna. This, this, this is not good. Oh, they don't even wait for Klungo. Everybody should wait for Klungo. 
don't worry, I just need to get myself a new body. And she's not gonna be back. She's hanging with her sisters now. It's yeah. Hmm. Well, the next day, uh, after Ooh. all the damage was done. What a witch. Uh, Bottles was still in there. Bottles? So, uh, who won the poker game? Well, whoever won, they gotta pay for the damages. Damn it! Always a caveat. Do you have home insurance, Banjo? What's that? Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, Jesus. This is why I do the paperwork. Bottles? Ugh. Okay. That could have gone better for him. Ah, he's probably fine. Yeah, we'll just have him rest for a little bit and, uh... Oh, wait a minute. He's dead. What? Bottles is dead. I thought Banjo said he, he grunty killed that poor bastard. He, he, he did kill the poor bastard. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, so, so much for, like, sequel armor. Alright, yeah, no, I'm with Bumbo. Oh, shit. Oh, wake, wake, wake up, wake up, wake up. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go find uh, Grunty and uh, kill her back, maybe? And actually do it right this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Grunty came back in season two because the protagonist of the anime didn't, you know, finish her off because he thought, oh, we could reform her by throwing her underneath a rock. Well, all two years of solitary confinement did would just piss her off even more. So, hey, Bottles' is ghost. You, you, you okay? I can't go to the afterlife. Help! So what's cool about uh, Banjo-Tooie is that all of your moves oh, from Banjo-Kazooie God. are still here. Yes! And if you forget anything, you can talk, you can go to the molehills and kind of refresh, but they fucked up Spiral Mountain! And they're still fucking up they're Spiral staying. Mountain. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> fucking up mountain fun! Ha ha ha! Grunty told me have fun. This how have fun. <laughs> so we're not going back into uh, Grunty's lair. Nope. Good. Well, it's been abandoned. There's nothing there. So yeah, you, oh, you okay. go here. You, you get everything uh, resituated. But I've been playing Banjo Kazooie for 15 weeks now. <laughs> I think I know how to play. You got both of your uh, both of your uh, shoes there. The boots and the tennis shoes still work. Okay. So, okay, so I got your your double jump. Just everything is intact. There's a couple of, di of things that's changed. For example, your uh, your bear claw swipe is now a peck. Who's this guy? Yeah, a little in incongruent because we haven't met this character yet. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. R right now, we'll call him New Bottles. <laughs> new bile? No, New Bottles. Do do do! Wow. All right. Still do the talent trap. You can run on water? Yeah, now you can run on water now. It's one of the new features. Oh, cool! Actually, I don't know if you can run on water in the original Magic Kazooie, but... Well, we'll just... It's its new for me. But if you could, this one actually has some, uh, some purposes. Cool thing about this also, there's not so much collecting anymore. Everything is in bunches. There are no single collectibles lying around. They're all in bunches. Ooh, okay. For example, that was 20 eggs we just got there. Wow. So does that also count for notes, or that just... Count, that counts for notes as well. And feathers. All right. A kazooie door down there. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, that's what you're seeing. All right, kazooie, into the water. <laughs> really started the game, and there's already so much new stuff. So there's a couple of ways to get up here. This is uh, climb on the rock and doing is get on the rock and then oh yep and then there we go. Oh cool. Is this just an Easter egg? Easter egg or important part of the game? Oh. Because here's Cheeto. Oh. Cheeto is no longer a hidden thing in in the game anymore. He is now he now has pages throughout the worlds as collectibles. Oh! 
Grunta got pissed that he helped us out in the last game, and so she tearing out pages. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if we find, I think it's five pages at a time, he will give us a legal cheat. Ooh. Oh yes. There are cheats in this game, and they're a lot easier to access and a lot easier to do. And so not as much spelling as what I'm hearing. Uh, you can. There's a reticle, and you can just choose the letters. Oh, that's so much Compared better. Compared to just you know having to go and jump in with the weird asymmetric angle. Now it's way more direct. Because there's a lot of cheats in this game. Okay. What also happens is that the eggs and feathers will change. So you need gold ones. Well, you can just wait for the gold ones to appear. Oh, that's such a great idea. There is a. They added a whole bunch to this game. It's just to minimize all the busy work. Well, awesome. So, so it's got about the same kind of, uh, you know, scope mm -hmm. as Donkey Kong 64, but because it had the first game to to go off of, it doesn't yeah. feel like so so crazy anymore. Ah, ah, yeah, ah. yeah, I faced the wrong way when I hit this bad idea. <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. there we go, graceful as ever. And if you look down there on the top of Spire of the Mountain, you will see Mario, Young Link, and Joker fighting it out on top of Spire of the Mountain. <laughs> Who the hell is Joker? Banjo's on his way. Ooh, airborne enemies. Is that a zoomed out camera that I'm seeing right now? I think here is where I finally figured out you can hold R to make things easier. Oh my god. I have finally god. figured out you gotta hold R to fly better. Well, better late than never. What the hell is that in there? I like it. It looks like an N64 pack. Yeah, let's get it. It might be related to stop and swap. <coughs> anyway. <laughs> That early, huh? So we never got the official stop and swap from the N64 era. No, it, it didn't... It, it didn't pan out. Yeah. So now we are officially getting what... Because the connectivity didn't work, you know. With the N64, yeah, yeah, take out the cartridge and put it back in. Nintendo's like, no, we're not doing that. But in this one, it's just scanning the hard drive. Oh, got it. All right, great. So really, it's just stop and scan. I'm really glad they kept it in, by the way. All right, boss time. What? He's a minion with a mission. He's got his honey-do list, and Grunty's the honey. Yeah. I must propose. Do you think that's a fake eye or an eye patch that he's got? I think it's just for looks. It's, it, it, it doesn't blink. Hey, see, he's got the K rule eye. Oh my God, he is a reused asset. <laughs> It's about how you reuse the assets, though. Yeah. It's not supposed to be obvious. Alright, he likes to drink potions and throw them, too. No, oh, and eat them. Oh, he's big. Alright. I feel like this is... Uh, okay, shield time! Okay... Now show Bear my special potion! That he's gonna throw at us. He's just a, like a gimme boss, right? Yeah, hey. essentially. Hey, do you remember combat from Banjo-Kazooie? Well, here you go. It's like, oh, oh, you think you're ready to start the new game, huh? Well, here, here's a test. You think you've been tutorialized properly? Well, then prove it. Kill him. Okay, I did. Perfect. And then his spirit comes out of his body. Banjo's just on a killing spree. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 20 gamer score for knocking out Klungo. That, that's that's generous. All right. He did ask for it. I mean. mm -hmm. Wow, Banjo grew some balls between games. Not taking any shit. Yeah, I think they uh, recorded some new uh, dialogue for Banjo. Because in the in uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, his his voice was like higher pitch, like you know, whoa, wee, ho, 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 you know, you know like. But in this one, he it's a bit more like lower pitch, like oh, whoa, hey, yeah, all right, oh yeah. <laughs> so his, he went through puberty. L little less falsetto here, if you know what I'm saying. Whee! Go huh? All right, well, follow the tire tracks, I suppose. Oh, just jumping right into it. There are no levels. It's just a boss. <laughs> that was it. Thanks well, for playing Banjo-Tooie. Welcome to Banjo-Tooie. Wow, well, I beat two games where you can finish DK64. Shut up. <laughs> I guess you do have to do nuts and bolts now. <laughs> the Isle of Hags. The Isle of Hags. Well, they just drove their way right through this place, didn't they? Don't, don't we call those brothels? 
Never mind. This is just ignore Not me. Not that I would know. How was you? Just ignore me. A, a lot of years playing Fable. This is an information signpost. You get lost, press B! <laughs> Loving memory of the Grey Jinjo family. Passed away unexpectedly when a huge digging machine flattened their house. Wow, everyone's dying in Banjo-Tooie. They just came through and just destroyed their house. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, every level has Jinjos. Well, not anymore. But they don't have the typical, you know, blue, orange, yellow, green, uh, you know, type deal. They, they are randomly colored, and whenever you complete one of these Jinjo houses, you got your red, you got your black, you got your yellow, purple and blue up there, etc, etc. If you complete a Jinjo house, that's a Jiggy for you. Oh, a Jinjo house? Yes. Gotcha. So there are, so, uh, the, the Jinjos that appear in levels are randomly colored, but if you collect all the Jinjos, you'll get them all. Gotcha, so it's just, uh... Okay, it's it's still a collectible, it's just yes. you don't know when you're going to complete a Jinjo house. Right. Like, you could find all five of the brown Jinjos in this first level, or you could find one brown Jinjo, oh, and then they won't oh be my. until later on. I love this Jinjo version of Hedonism Bot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> I'm King Jingling, motherfuckers! <laughs> Something tells me there's a wealth inequality, and well, uh, from my palace made of solid gold, I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, gold is the same as terracotta, isn't it? Is that like a parasite he has as a pet or something like that? Looks like a mixture of a worm and a fungus. A kickball rivalry? Oh, it's a mole, maybe? Uh, Alright, so basically, save the Jinjas so they can win their kickball tournament. Well, okay. it, it, you know, whatever. It's probably 100%. If, the, if, we, if we gotta kickball it as, as, you know, fine. I don't care. We can do it. Oh, Alright, thanks! No, what?! Alright, there's your freebie. Well, uh, Kazooie, why are we still collecting, uh, Jiggies? So we need to go see Master Jiggy Wiggy now. Master Jiggy Wiggy is who we turn the Jiggies into. And then we do one of Bottles' little uh, puzzle things, you know, it's another one of those puzzle pu uh, pieces, puzzle, uh, puzzle puzzles. Puzzle puzzles, es essentially. That's and uh, whenever we complete them, that opens up a new stage. That's jiggity wiggity whack, dude. <laughs> the jiggity wiggity 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 mac daddy! <laughs> the crystal jiggy! <laughs> oh, we got higher tiers of jiggies now. All right, so, uh, you just... Oh, no, we let... Oh. We gotta go through Bottle's house and tell him, hey, your dad is... gonna be fine. I didn't even know he had a family. Hey, uh, excuse me, Bottle's Jr., your dad went out for cigarettes and is never coming back. Right, I, re I really hope there's no more tragedy happening this episode. Hmm. Well, Kazooie dies. And then it's replaced with her sister, Tui. Meanwhile, this is where the uh, digging machine went. How did it scale 90 degrees? Witch magic. Oh, well. Maybe Grunty pushed. I don't know. <laughs> but they, they basically got the King K. Rule uh, thing oh my going God. on. Yeah. They, they got the Blastomatic. They got, they got the Blastomatic on loan from K. Rule. Surprisingly, Grunty, this thing is powered by witch bones. And now for the most tragic death. The Grunty's rhyming scheme. Oh, no. <laughs> it just drops it automatically. It's like, oh, fine. It was a gimmick. <laughs> So it's basically sucking up all of the life force from the world and it's gonna use it to fire a big gun to fuck up the world even more. God, I love when game plots were so cartoonishly evil. It also gives her a new body too, so. See, this is a great setup. Sure. It's like, here's your game over screen. 
Like I put, I, I put a couple of uh, filet mignons on top of the Empire Steak Building. The stakes are very high, my friend. I also love how they're dunking on their sister. It's like, hey, you fat piece of shit. We need a lot of human life force. Well, uh, sorry, what? No way. Yeah. We just met we him. We just met him. That is jiggity wiggity 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 uh, Mac Daddy. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, he's getting sucked. He's not getting blown. Can you imagine? The King Jinjo is getting destroyed by the famous B.O.B. <laughs> I guess they are just raising the stakes for this. Oh, my cheese palace! And me! No! Oh, good thing we got other just in time. Oh, yeah. It steals the color from the world. Oh, no. Everyone gets turned into zombies? Well, he got his life force taken, and his poor little pet's dead, too. This bitch is evil! What? Oh, no! Holy shit! This game is, like, ten times bigger than Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, this is way better than just kidnapping our sister. Yeah, this is just like, oh, hey, if I get back to full power, the world's screwed. Well, I, uh, I think we got our work cut out for us now, don't you think? Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. Also, I don't think that illusion works where, you know, they used her fat character model, but put the rib cage. Well, it kind of works. Like the cloth underneath. I think that was supposed to indicate that she's just a floating rib cage. But it didn't really work. Well... Yeah. Excuse me, Mrs. Bottles? Oh, Banjo was just... <laughs> he's just right outside, he's like... Oh. <laughs> Did something happen? Oh. 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 Okay. Uh... Are you okay, your majesty? Excuse... Zombified uh. throne room. Hey there! Hi, Mac Daddy. Oh, he hurts, too. You have to kill the zombies? I don't think I can kill him though. Well, that's good. We have there's a way to bring him back. I'm hoping. Well, everything will be okay if we do 100%. Wow. And it's going to take a while. It might be cutting it close between your uh, DK64 let's play. How many casualties will we see? Oh, quite a lot. It's, oh it's... no. Yeah. So, next time on Let's Play Banjo Tooie we got to break the news to his wife. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, oh we're, boy. we're not going to kill anybody next episode. We're just going to break the, s the heart. Uh, well, uh, maybe I should show you what happens when you get a game over. When you get a game over, just quit the game. No cutscene. It just ends. What? What a ripoff. I don't think I can deal with much more tragedy, so... Next time on Banjo-Tooie, the game begins. <laughs>